welcome to another week with me and my four month old baby. She's down there in a little like play mat thing. I finally added all of the accessories to it so she had more stuff to look at. I mean, she sounds like she's having a good time. She seems to be doing pretty good in there with just like all these little things to, to look at. And uh, oh, I did this really cool thing with my makeup. Got white eyeliner for Christmas, funny enough. And so I was just playing around. Honestly, I'd even look up a tutorial or nothing. Thing. I just like was putting white eyeliner places um, and yeah I'm wearing a dress I'm just the whole thing because we hit uh, 300 subscribers Wow oh my gosh it feels like we just hit 200 like the other day which I think is because we did we did just hit 200 the other day Oh, uh, it's just really crazy how fast we're growing it's just hello to to all of you yeah, I'm not too sure what else to say. It's just like, I'm just, I'm very much overwhelmed. Um, we probably won't celebrate uh, too much. I think we're going to wait till 500 to celebrate because that way we're like halfway to monetization, which is amazing. That's, that's a wonderful goal to have. And at, at this rate, um, it looks like that's um, going to be pretty soon in the future, I think. Oh my gosh, so, so crazy. And as for Marceline and her four-month sleep regression, it's very much still happening. Um, but some days are better than others. So like now, finally, like uh, we finally had Christian's weekend uh, the other day. I'm saying weekend because it's one singular day <laughs> that he has off a week. And she did really really good like she she took her naps and she slept through the night and it was pretty it was a great time but yeah today she's just taking the, her teeny tiny naps um and she woke up fairly early this morning you know yeah we're still going through it it's not like it's completely done or anything i think stuff is probably getting better um on friday she has her four month doctor's appointment so we get to ask her those questions probably mostly for her lopsided head i feel like because i feel like that's my number one concern with her right now i feel like everything else about her i think uh, it's so early on to be really like i don't know analytical um with her milestones but her lopsided head does not look good to me so that's the number one thing i'm worried about i'm like oh well because she she likes moving around she's talking um She's, she's now interacting with objects, and she's smiling and laughing. Like, I, surely everything's fine with her. But yeah, that lopsided head, I'm a little worried about it. <laughs> so I know she's only four months old. She barely understands what's going on around her. But one of the things I'm, like, adding to our, like, routine, I think, is if I don't put on a Disney movie on the TV... Um, I'll put on Bluey, which if you don't know is like a children's show that it's basically these dogs like it's a family of dogs, you know cartoon dogs and they basically just play pretend in every episode that's literally it that's that's like the big old summary but I had seen people on TikTok talk about like oh it's a really good show for both parents and their kids so I don't know when we're like trying to just like put on something just for like noise so we know that like there's like some yeah there's something on the tv that's like not like always like adult you know if that makes sense even though i know she's tiny she doesn't even know what's going on but it's mostly it's kind of mostly for me honestly because it it helps me get into like the mindset of like being a parent you know, like, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still waking up every day. Like, okay, like, here we go. I'm gonna, you know, be a mom and just, like, do, like, tackle the and have a good mindset, you know? Because, like, oh, like, the relationship, like, the parents have with the kids is so good. And it's funny enough, we're putting it on so much that my mother-in-law got her the little plushies of yeah of bluey and her sister bingo and i think she likes them it's hard to tell i mean like she's so tiny that she like she doesn't even know who these characters are and, and stuff but it's just really funny to see her interact with stuffed animals like finally because i did i did we do have like a couple toys for her but she really doesn't seem to be very much interested other than like rattles she she's loving rattles because they make noise and she can like grab onto them and stuff and um plus i think that's really good for her development yeah she's so tiny right now and her and like the simplest toys are probably like the best for her but yeah and like Aunt bluey the episodes 
I'm, they're making me cry like they are so cute and so wholesome especially like now that we're in season two the, the first season they're pretty good and I was like okay I'll see what everybody on TikTok's talking about oh it's just you know it's just do cartoon dogs playing together okay i guess but then now we're in season two and so yeah some of like so i've cried so many times but i mean i i cry at everything though like i'm i'm just i'm just a crier i'm just so empathetic empathetic or you know something look at her trying to roll over you see that she's like getting on her side she's uh she's yeah she's doing pretty good look, look at her um uh, developing she's literally rotating guys i i put her down literally 180 and look, she completely flipped all the way around just by like scooching inch by inch all the way around. And like now she's perfectly looking at her reflection. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's like talking. Nah, 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 nah. Marceline. Marceline. Oh my god, guys, she flipped over. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, she was on her back and then she flipped over. I mean, she's struggling right now. But oh my gosh, she flipped over. Are you okay? <laughs> you do not look comfortable. But oh my goodness, she did it herself. Oh my god. Oh, you okay? Here, you want that arm out? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. She does not look comfortable right now, but she flipped over. I swear she was chilling on her back like two seconds ago. Oh my god. I think this counts. Look at you! Ah, she did it! Oh my goodness, where's the lead? Uh, they certainly don't seem to be in league with this creature. Just to put it in perspective, this is her doing some tummy time exactly five weeks ago. I really haven't shown much of her attempting to do her tummy time just because she looks like she hates it. Um, I guess I was wrong because she really, really just wanted to roll over now, I guess. But it's just so crazy what a couple weeks can do that she like built up her strength to roll over from her um, back to her belly. It's just, this is just so crazy. It's really funny that I was making fun of her for try attempting to roll over. And yet now she's doing it all the time, guys. She has non-stop continuously been rolling over onto her belly. Exhibit A. I'm trying to put her down for a nap. 
and she literally just rolled over onto her belly just for fun just to do it i guess right beautiful what are you doing hi <laughs> yeah it's it's nap time now she's been up for about as much time as she should for her little wake window and i put her down for a couple minutes and then i look at her and she's literally rolled over onto her belly well she has rolled over from her belly to her back a couple of times which is great um but she's really not doing it all that much she keeps her rolling onto her belly and then getting stuck like this and she doesn't want to roll back but she constantly just keeps her rolling onto her belly like she just keeps keeps doing it it's so funny No matter how many times we roll her back over, she'll just keep doing it. Okay, mama. Beautiful. I love you. Let's roll. Ooh, I know, I know. You just want to be on your belly all the time. There you go. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> It's nap time. It's nap time. Go to sleep. Be silly. <laughs> also, it's not picking up on camera, but her nose is a little red from when she's trying to roll over. Oh my goodness. And her doing her new rolling thing is very funny because we just took her to the doctor, like I said we would. And her doctor found it humorous, bless you, that she's rolling from her back onto her belly when really she should have learned from her belly to her back first. Like that's usually what babies do, but she did the opposite and basically, but she learned both how to do both of them in like the same week. I guess it's not that far off, but she just keeps trying to roll. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hello, what are you doing? Marceline? Hi. <laughs> so this is just the week of milestones. She's he she learned how to roll from her her back to her belly and from her belly to her back in the same week and plus she's like really trying to hold on to her bottles. Like, she's getting so much better at, like, holding things and everything. It's just, she's just growing. So it is true. My baby is starting to try to feed herself by, like, <laughs> holding bottles. Which is so crazy because it feels like it was just, like, last week or whatever that she was, like, barely starting to try to hold things. Because it's been a while that we've been trying to introduce objects to her to like hold and and shake and rattle and stuff but here she is uh feeding herself or at least attempting to of course we're right there with her but yeah look at that like i think this is the i think this is what we needed to reach in order for her sleeping stuff to settle <laughs> Sorry, she's like, she's on her belly. And, I, and no matter how many times I roll her back over, she just keeps rolling onto her belly, no matter what I do. So I'm just gonna let her do it what she wants to do. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> you silly! What are you doing? Oh my gosh. So since she's learned to roll every like wake window, we're really making an effort to give her her tummy time. Like I think before we would like m like do it like once a day maybe just to like try to tire her out. But now since she's like wants to roll, we're just gonna let her do it because that's all she wants to do. She just wants to roll. She just wants to roll onto her belly.
She just wants to roll onto her belly. Yeah, that's all she wants to do. And it's actually tiring her out. So she's actually taking her nap. So I think this is exactly what she needed to do. Right, Marceline? Yeah. <laughs> just because we figured out she wanted to roll over and now she's rolling over all the time doesn't mean that she doesn't also need some help getting some assistance to take her naps um, just like she used to before. But everything is a lot easier though, I would say. Like, I think we're probably over the hump of this sleep progression. Now that she's getting that energy out, it is much easier to get her to, to fall asleep. I'm really treasuring these moments right now that she is this small and she needs my help to assist her back to sleep. Because I, I do really enjoy these little, like, walking around the house or the apartment holding her like this. And it really does relax her quite quickly. Quickly. I guess my only complaint is that I am not very strong. I don't know if it comes across how like physically weak that I am and holding a 12, 13 pound baby in this position for this long can be really tiring on your arms surprisingly. I need to like work out or something. But yeah, I'm just really trying to treasure these moments where she really does need me and she needs me to hold her. But yeah, if anyone else were to try to hold her like this, other than me or Christian, she does not fall asleep that quickly. But nine times out of ten, it works, and she does fall asleep. And with this little sleeping baby, I think that's it for this video. Um, if you liked it, make sure to hit the like button and um, subscribe for more um, Marceline uh, in motherhood uh, content. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Goodbye.